Let's do it. Um, I'm psyched. Cool. All right. So so we've got we've got some images from ChatGPT. Uh, we've got an, a mid journey image that we like, and uh, now we're gonna now we're gonna do some do some animating. Tell us. Um, looks like we're in runway. Tell us like. Give us a little bit of background for people that don't know about Runway and tell us what we're going to do. Yeah, so Runway is a great tool. You can actually go in here and do text to image to video right right in one app, which is awesome if, if you're trying to create in a time crunch. What I like using it for is um, animating my more cinematic images uh, just because the level of control you have. They have this tool called the motion brush, which we'll show you um, mm. and how you can really kind of show what part of the image you want to move and then how much you want it to move. So it's really cool. Mm. So we'll actually start with this image first. It's the uh, the Nicholas Cage surrounded by the spirits um, as he's looking at the Book of the Dead. This is an awesome image. I'm I'm gonna send this to you so you can frame it. Please, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, Are you kidding me? I'm gonna put it on YouTube. I'm gonna get all the views. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Heck yeah, man. All right, so I'm gonna click in the motion brush. So. Uh, motion brush is a, is a new tool that was released from uh, runway. It's, it's really cool. You're able to like select a brush and then um, basically like you color over areas that you want to move and then you're able mm. to tell what kind of movement you want to have. So mm. we'll start with brush one. We'll just kind of brush over Nick cage. I think it'd be cool if he was just kind of like standing there. I'll give him a little bit of ambient movement, like a 0.5 mm -hmm. brush two. And ambient movement is sort of like his clothes are rustling or something, or what is yeah, it? Yeah, like maybe his like hair is moving. Okay. Um, so I'll do this um, kind of like this is like that first. And is it smart enough? Because you're kind of like, you know, you, you nicked his head a little bit, like <laughs> nicked, nicked, Nick Cage's head. Nick, uh, Nick Cage's like, head, is it yeah. smart enough to know, like, not, not to, that it's his head and you, you don't really want that? Or do you have to be really it careful is, about it? Um, yeah. The good news is, you know, I, I can go right back to brush and then fix it right 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 right. so okay. I, yeah i kind of but it's it's pretty it's not so it's not so delicate yeah like you can kind of like just as long as you get enough and then we'll maybe do a third brush on this the, the light from god Ooh, i like that what about the candles too yeah yeah, we'll do it we'll do it gotta have the candles that. flickering do a brush fork for the candles so i just like to quickly go paint everything Mm. And then I go back in and mess with the parameters. So mm. you kind of already did in the cage. So for the ghost, you know, I want the, the maybe some smoke to kind of go in the air. Mm. So I, I, I use the, uh, oops, I use the vertical brush maybe a little bit. And then interesting. Um, okay. So that's going to, that's going to push the ghost's mist up. Correct. Yeah. And I'll give okay. it like a like two ambience. Um, and, and some of it is trial and error. I've been using yeah. it for a while, so I kind of know what I could get. Yeah. Uh, and then if you go to the, the, uh, so I'm just going to do a, a ambient noise up to like their proximity. I'm going to have the rays kind of feel like they're kind of coming towards us a little bit. Mm. And then for the candle light, since it's such a simple movement, I'll just do like a little bit of ambient noise there. Mm. And then, uh, and then that's it. And then you just click done and then you can just generate, you know, I like, I like to always like, uh, do five at a time. Mm hmm. Just because you don't know what you're gonna get. Interesting. So we'll just hit five. Like you just hit generate five times. Correct. Yeah, and I'm okay. on the unlimited plan, so I'm also actually that. part of the uh, the Creative Partners program at Runway. So I got like a million credits. I love that. It. I still need to get through, but <laughs> it's pretty awesome, dude. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. It's like the perfect image to use a motion brush too, because it has the smoke, it has the the light rays. It's like yeah. built for like the motion brush. <laughs> so we should get something good, and we didn't we didn't even mess with camera movement. Um, mm. Actually, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one just so we have an example of. Uh, let's do a zoom out. Okay. Uh, just to see what that gives us. That's uh, cool. Uh, I'll switch to my credits because unlimited, you can only generate five at a time, so you got to use your credits. Mm. And how long does it normally take to generate? Uh, like a single image, um, I would say on average like a like a minute, okay. something along those lines. Yeah, cool. Um, probably quicker if you're just doing one or two. But I I threw so many in there, <laughs> or, or generations at a time. It might take a little longer, but it's, it's okay. fairly pretty quick. Okay, cool. Yeah. And actually, I guess while we're waiting, like one of the things that I'm thinking about or keying on is um, there's this trope happening right now where, um, oh, oh, should we go to it first? Let's we let's play it. I want to play it. <laughs> 
Ooh. Wow. wow. <laughs> Look, Nick Cage kind of like leans in too. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> well, that was that was the first one out the bat. <laughs> I don't even you look at the rest. What else we got? <laughs> oh my god! That, but that's and oh, like this is a little bit more subtle. And Nick Cage kind of like does a mm-hmm. little head tilt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what people actually don't know is you can. What I actually do is I take like multiple generations into like a, a premiere and like mm-hmm. I layer them and like I take parts from each clip that I like better. Like I might mm. like the smoke. I might like the smoke here better, but I might like Nick, Nick Cage less in the other one. Right. So I'll be able to like just kind of mask him in. That's really um, cool. Let's go. Maybe this. Oh, they're not ready yet. I was gonna say. Let's go to one of the uh, the camera. Let's, let's check. This and one. so these are all like, kind of subtly different, but they're not. Oh wow, Nick Cage is sort of like changing. Yeah, this, yeah, this, one. yeah. This one, yeah, this one got kind of funky. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even look like himself anymore. Yeah, I mean, maybe the, maybe they transformed him into another character in order to let him get to the Luxor <laughs> without being seen. You know, that's exactly. possible. Yeah. All right, now we got some camera movement ones. Let's see what we got. This is where I zoom out. Ooh. Whoa. Even the light dims down, that's too. That's pretty sick. cool. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, the motion brush is a pretty sick tool. 